Okay Reddit let's make it, the list of real life cheat codes. Walk on the sides of stairs to avoid reduced creaks. Walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. Lift yourself a little off the toilet if noise is a concern and you're having a particularly gaseous bowel movement. The volume will decrease at least 50-60%. I'd like to see the research on that one. Hey Carl, the DB meter says it was 54% quieter than the last one. Talk to everyone like you would your best mate, and smile. I thought the smiling thing was bulls until I actually became happy for real. Everyone is nicer when you're smiling at them. If you have crushing chest pain, call 9-1-1 first, then choose some aspirin. I work in cardiology. Then ask someone to help get the anvil off your chest. I work at Acme. Secretaries, tech support and janitors are the true power in office buildings. Make friends, remember birthdays and you can get anything you need or go anywhere you need. Janitor here. I got so many freaking master keys I don't know how to keep them all straight. Shut the frick up. Wait for the lawyer. Better call Saul. When receiving a call from a solicitor, simply press 9, the call will be dropped and your phone number is then put on the company's do not call list. 95% of companies support this feature. I love it. To get through tech support quickly with an ISP. Choose the option for becoming a new customer. Then when you get there ask to transfer to tech support. Usually they won't put you on hold because they see the number coming from the new customer line. That works just about everywhere. Especially well with airlines. I know this works in California. So I call upon you redditors to test it out elsewhere. If you receive a parking ticket and it has been less than an hour since it was administered, immediately call the number on the ticket to contest it. The call will go through a series of automated questions. You want to answer these questions based on the premise that your car had overheated, and that you only parked where you did out of necessity. Then go to either a convenience store of a gas station or an automotive shop of any kind. Has to be one of these two. And buy a bottle of water. When you submit your formal petition via mail, include the receipt for the water that you bought and explain that your car had overheated. The ticket will be waived. It has worked for me every time. Easy splinter removal. Dip the splintered body part in some Elmer's glue, let it dry, remove glue with splinter. Easy lawn care. Pour beer Bud Light, cause, etc, on the lawn. Fermented sugars make great fertilizer. Easy broken glass clean up. Get the tiny pieces up with a piece of bread. The consistency and texture picks up even the smallest shard. Finally a use for American beer. If you need to briefly turn the light on at night and don't want to completely lose your night vision, keep one eye closed. Same reason pirates wore an eye patch. Ugh. Try to put yourself in as many socially awkward situations as possible. You will be desensitized to it which makes you more outgoing. Sprinkle some salt on your napkin coaster at the bar. Your beer won't stick to it every fucking time. Girls hate a guy who can't keep his napkin coaster crap in order. Always have some money saved that no one knows about. It could save your life. If you are nervous when talking to people, try to relax. The worst they could say to you is go away. If you have something important to remember put an object in a weird place. The next time you will see it it will automatically trigger your memory. Put clothes in the dryer for a few minutes to get the wrinkles out. There's always money in the banana stand. Don't announce that you are having a kid till the second trimester. This is certainly good advice for friends and acquaintances, but I think it's perfectly acceptable to share that information with your family and very close friends. If you do happen to lose it, they are going to be the ones to help you get through it. If you get brain freeze from eating something cold too quickly, press your tongue against the roof of your mouth as hard as you can. Voila, instant brain freeze relief. Thank you. I had forgotten about this one and read it just as I was experiencing brain freeze from the slushy I am drinking. Upvoted for superb advice and timing. Rainamud.com and simplynoeyes.com are the cheats codes for studying working without distraction. Have confidence. Chicks dig confidence. And if you have no confidence, fake it. It won't take long to see that it works and then your fake confidence becomes real. Never bring anything into work. That way, when you leave, i.e., earlier than usual, 
It doesn't look like you're leaving for the day. If you find yourself running late for work, pick up some donuts or breakfast burritos. Then you're not the guy who's late. You're the guy who brought breakfast. Advice courtesy of Whataburger. Socks are lube for pants. It only took 30 years to figure this out. If I could have all that wasted time back, I'd be chronillionaire. If you have a CD that skips due to scratches put some Brasso on it. It will fill the scratches and help on playback. Don't know if this works for DVDs. Works by abrasion, not filling. Toothpaste also works. Never renew your car insurance with the price offered. Call your provider and say you will leave if it is not reduced further. Important caveat. Make sure that you are prepared to leave and will be able to get a new provider in time. Although this generally will work. Sometimes they'll just drop you. This also won't work if you're accident prone. Try to use your non-dominant hand for more things. Try to maintain an equal balance in your body. If you have paper and a writing utensil in front of you, try scribbling circles with your non-dominant hand. Stir things with it. Open doors with it. Use your dominant hand for things that you'd usually use your non-dominant for. Be conscious of how your body moves. Pick up your feet when you walk. Pay attention to your posture. Try not to lean to one side if you're standing for a long period of time. Stretch. Stretching is important in maintaining strength, balance and coordination. Try doing routine things in different ways. It'll help your body with the aging process and keep you in better shape. If you want to develop certain traits as a person, live your life as if you've always been that way had said traits. Eventually after a bit it will become so second nature that you won't even have to think about it. Don't pretend to know something if you don't. You look ignorant if you're called out on it, and you force yourself to lose the opportunity to learn something new. If you're mocked for not knowing something and needing to ask, you're around the wrong people. TL. DR. Be conscious of how your body moves. Try to stay balanced. Sometimes pretending to have certain traits will actually help you develop them. Be open to learning new things. If you rear a bear from birth you can walk through dark alleys without fear in 4-5 years. Then you die from high fives and hugs. When you are carrying groceries in plastic bags, take an extra bag, loop it through the handle loops of all the other bags, and tie them together. Divide the bags roughly in half, then hang them over your shoulder or around the back of your neck. I saw a genius homeless man doing this, and it has made my grocery carrying much easier. In the UK, dial 17070 from a BT landline to get your phone number read back to you, and a bunch of other admin options. It's a test number used by BT engineers. Free. In the UK, dial 0118-999-881-999-119-7253 for emergency services. First date cheat code for men. Never tell a girl where you're going or how to dress. Instead, tell her to dress for a first date with a guy she really likes. Now, pick three places you'd like to go. Someplace fun and active. Bowling. Pool. Mini golf. Go-kart racing. Ball game. ETC. Something romantic and classy. Nice restaurant. Upscale lounge. Art gallery opening. And something in between nice bar. Coffee shop. Comedy club. Now, when you pick her up. Let the way she's dressed decide which you're going to do. If she's wearing something hot and revealing. Dress. High heels. Low cut top. Etc. Then she wants to go somewhere classy and romantic. If she's sporting some jeans. Tennis shoes or flip flops. And a tee. The bowling alley or pool hall may be a good bet. If she's wearing jeans. High heeled boots. A nice top or blouse. Then she's not really jonesing for the super romance treatment. And she put in more effort than mini golf deserves. 18 holes of mini golf in heels. Seriously. So a comedy club or some place with live music is a good choice. And never, ever, do a movie on the first date. Men, you're going to wear a pair of clean, neat jeans. A pressed stylish long sleeve button down shirt. Nice shoes or boots. Try to avoid tennis shoes of sneakers. Works for any occasion. I like how Reddit usually jumps all over typos, except in the cases where the post may help get them laid. Always be polite. People will treat you better if you're both friendly and respectful. 
Buying a new car is functionally equivalent to buying a used car and then paying an exorbitant sum of money to have it cleaned. If you make eye contact with someone, smile and nod. You never know when you'll run into them again. And it's better to seem friendly than socially awkward. Find a genre of novels that interests you and spend some time reading. It will expand your vocabulary and improve your grammar. Be careful when someone asks you about religion. Few ask out of genuine curiosity. Most who bring up the subject can't stand the thought that others disagree with them. And feel the need to confirm that others agree with them and convert anyone who doesn't. Either way no useful conversation will result. A similar rule applies to politics. Details matter, so pay attention at all times. Never chug anything over 40 proof. Get the good stuff. Expensive beer is more enjoyable than the pee water most people drink, and less likely to get you drunk enough to do something regrettable. Likewise, cigars you can only afford to buy once a month are more enjoyable and less likely to get you addicted than cigarettes. Always use a turn signal. Talking to someone who agrees with you is as useful as talking to yourself. Talking to yourself is not useless. Never lie to yourself, especially about your motives. Why you do what you do is as important as what you do. Honesty is a virtue. You'll gain more respect if you're always honest in your dealings. Don't waste your own time dealing with dishonest people. The dark tiles are lava. The light ones are stepping stones. Tread carefully, my friends. Cut negative people out of your life. Pro tip, use a machete. If I've learned anything from my internet provider about connection issues, it's Step 1. Reset your modem by removing the power cable for at least 30 seconds and then plugging it back in. Step 2. Restart your computer. Step 3. If you're still having connection issues, repeat steps 1 and 2 above until it works. The 30 seconds is to let thetans out. Baby wipes for the bathroom. Seriously, your life will be plus one. Pro tip, to test a remote, put your cell phone in picture mode and face the remote towards the phone and push a button. Cell phones can see light outside of the visible spectrum and if the remote works you will see the light flash on your camera screen. Instead of using Ctrl plus Alt plus Del to pull up your task manager, use Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Many contemporary systems have an extra screen with lock computer, change password, etc. For the Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination, but using Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC pulls up the task manager directly. Be alert. Your country needs more alerts. When studying arts at university, take notes on your prof's political philosophical ideologies and worldviews. Regurgitate on essays and on exams for an A grade. Also, margins, font, font size, etc. are incredibly important. Never neglect these. When you buy something online, you usually get a chance to enter a promo code before you purchase. Google the promo codes. They are out there. You can get anything from free shipping to 25% off the purchase. Sokotoa. For those who were never taught this trick for trig class. Sin equals opposite hypotenuse. Cosin equals adjacent hypotenuse. Tangent equals opposite adjacent. Pull on your hair in the shower. If it squeaks you already shampooed it. Useful when cleaning a lot of bodies. When you have forgotten someone's name. Simply say, I'm sorry, but what was your name one more time, they may act offended, but when they give you their first name you simply reply no, I meant your last name, more socially acceptable to forget, full stop, bingo, first and last names. When you hear someone's name, link it in your mind to a feature about them, for example, if their name is Fred and they have large eyes fried Fred fish, works every time, note, the more outlandish and original you are, the less likely you'll ever forget. Measure twice, cut once. If you press the street crossing button 400 times, the light will change. The must be true, the guy works in a science museum. Clean the pipes before a big date. I clean my pipes so much I don't even want dates anymore. On most elevators. Press close door and your floor number at the same time for express service. You will skip all floors between even if people are calling the elevator. If your credit card magnetic stripe starts to get worn from using being in your wallet, and doesn't always read in the card reader, 
You can use the plastic bag trick. Put the card in a plastic grocery bag and then swipe it. Not sure why it works, but it does. Taking it further though, you can simply apply a piece of quality cellophane tape over the mag stripe for a permanent plastic bag trick. I worked as cashier and this works. Pillage before you burn. If you need to get out of a conversation, whether it be a person at your door or a random acquaintance you bumped into, give them a good handshake and it's over. They won't refuse the handshake and it's a universal signal for ending the interaction. It removes the awkwardness of getting out of the conversation and is also friendly. If someone is trying to sell something I wish them luck and a great day as happily as I can. You won't seem like a dong and you get your time back. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.